In this video, we are discussing installing Hadoop on pseudo distributed mode. We shall show you and we shall discuss step by steps for your easy understanding and also this video will be assisted with one practical demonstration and we shall show you that how the steps are to be carried out. So let us start discussion on this installation process. Installing Hadoop in pseudo distributed mode. To set up Hadoop for pseudo distributed mode, set up the following XML files located in this folder. You see there is a path is there and there is a folder under this particular folder where having these three files are there. Multiple XML files are there but we are concentrating only on these three files and each and every file where we will be putting some set of XML. So first one is the core hyphen site dot XML, SDFS hyphen site dot XML and map rate hyphen site dot XML. So three XML files are there and they require some update. So set up core hyphen site dot XML that was the first in our list we are going to update that one. So open core hyphen site dot XML from the given path you see we had this path and this is the respective file name here and put the following lines in a, the XML file. So you can open this file it is a text file you can open it using gedit and then put this files, put these lines onto the respective file. Next was HDFS hyphen site dot XML which will be found in this respective folder and this is the codes XML codes are to be written into the file so open the file using gedit or any other text editor and put this XML code there. And the last one there is a map rate hyphen site dot XML it will be found in this respective folder and if the file is not present copy the map rate site dot XML dot template so there is a file will be there so there is a map rate hyphen site dot XML dot template file and rename the copied file with the map rate hyphen site dot XML so if the file is not directly there you will be having one template file so just make a copy of that and rename it the, to this name and put the following lines which are written in XML to that file itself. Open the Hadoop hyphen env dot sh from the given path. So this is the path from where you are supposed to open this shell program. The shell program is there and export the java underscore home environment variable in that file. So how to do that one put the following lines there there is a export java hyphen home there is a underscore here export java underscore home is equal to slash user slash local slash java slash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 171. So just see your, your path in my system the path was like this whatever I followed the steps my path was this but if you are having some different version of Java then obviously the respective uh, export the string will be also changed. So export Java underscore home is equal to so this line has to be put in the respective file that is a Hadoop hyphen env dot sh. So I think it is better let us go for one demonstration to show you that how the steps are to be carried out and what are the different ways to do that one for your better understanding. So here is the demonstration for you. So in this video we are going to discuss how to install Hadoop version 2.4.1. So before installing Hadoop version 2.4.1 we are going to install SSH and rsync. So what is SSH? SSH is nothing but secure shell is it is a secure shell and uh, it is a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services over an unsecured network and that is the purpose of SSH. Now what is rsync? So rsync is nothing but is a utility for efficiently transferring and synchronizing, synchronizing files across computer systems by checking the timestamp and the size of the file. And this rsync is having the full form that is a remote sync. And here also we are going for the setup for SSH without passphrase. Now actually this passphrase is actually this concept is required for the additional security here. So to install SSH the command is sudo apt-get install SSH. To install rsync the command is sudo apt-get install rsync so we will be issuing these commands in the terminal prompt 
and setup for SSH without passphrase is the command will be SSH hyphen keygen hyphen T R S A and while installing this we will be pressing enter for three times to ignore the next stages. So let us go for the demonstration that how we are doing uh, going to do this one. So at first we are going to install this Hadoop version 2.4.1 highlighting this one and now we are going for the first command that is a uh, installation of SSH going to the terminal clearing it up. So now here we are issuing the command pressing enter the command is getting executed yes. Installation has been done. Yes, the installation is still in process and it has been done successfully. Now we are going to copy this sudo apt hyphen get install rsync. So this is a command we are going to issue now. So we are doing the copy and then coming to this paste and the command prompt has been obtained. Now we, shall, we are going for SSH without passphrase. So copying this command here. And you shall press three times enter you can find that and here we are pressing enter three times you can find that we have entered three times and here we have got uh, we have got back the prompt so that means the instruction has been done successfully now here we are copying uh, this particular file and actually we are concatenating it at the end of the file that is the slash dot ssh slash authorized underscore keys so the left hand side file will be copied at the end of this right hand side file if the file on the right hand side does not exist then the file will be created and the new content will be pasted there so this is a command we are going to issue now so let us go for this copy and issue this command so command has been issued you can find that now we shall come back we shall issue the command that is our ssh localhost so going for this marking ssh localhost we shall go for yes pressing enter so the prompt has been obtained now here we are having some steps are there so we will be uh, downloading this Hadoop version 2.4.1 from the link as it has been given here we shall do the copy and paste onto the URL box so let us go for that operation and the Hadoop will get installed on our system copying this URL then opening the browser and go for paste and go now you are going to select the 132 MB file that is the Hadoop 2.4.1.tar.gz going for save the file is getting downloaded on a download folder you can click here you can see the progress how the file is getting downloaded here so now it is almost getting completed the download has been done onto the download folder opening the folder now so we are creating one folder under home the name of the folder will be Hadoop giving the name and now all the extracted files from the zip file we have done the dragging it so that all the files will get copied onto our Hadoop blank folder shall close this one so this is our Hadoop folder so we have followed the step that is the extract the downloaded files into the Hadoop folder so this much we have done now we are going to edit our uh, file that is a slash etc slash profile file and the following two lines are going to be added at the end of the file that is a profile file which is residing under the etc folder so let us go for opening this uh, there is a et slash etc slash profile file so let us go for uh, opening so sudo gedit going for slash etc slash profile opening the file it is asking for the password giving the password here cannot open I think we should terminate this uh, terminal let us go for another one let us open another terminal here okay so another terminal has got open we are going for this sudo let me execute this one again so sudo gedit slash etc slash profile pressing enter giving the password so file has got opened we are coming at the end creating some space here now coming to this install and copying these two lines 
So here we are exporting this Hadoop underscore install. This variable is uh, getting initialized with this path and also export path. So is equal to dollar path colon had dollar Hadoop underscore install slash bin. So these two, uh, these two lines were just uh, doing the copy and paste at the end of etc slash profile file. So doing the paste. So file has got updated. Now saving it. Then I shall close save and close then i shall execute the etc profile file so that the respective changes will get effective in the system okay we have done it so execute the slash etc slash profile file so this much we have done now hadoop sudo distributed mode so we'll be uh, going for some uh, updates in the XML files and so on. So let me go show you. So at first we are dealing with this code hyphen site dot XML. So this is a file where we are going to do some updates. And this file is residing under the folder that is a Hadoop slash etc slash Hadoop slash core hyphen site dot XML. So this is a file is there where we'll be pasting this configuration portion the portion which is written in this configuration tags so let me open this core uh, hyphen site.xml so it is under this hadoop etc hadoop and here we are having this core c yes c is the starting uh, char character so i shall be going for core hyphen site.xml so opening this one here you can find that this configuration tags are blank so let me copy this one at first. So I'm done the copy and then I shall go for this core hyphen site.xml. We have done the paste. You can find that only we have just updated the portion. We're not touching any other uh, portion of this file, just updating that portion, whatever you wrote. You can pause the video, you can do the same. You can make this XML ready. And then we are saving and closing it. So we have done this code hyphen site.xml. So required update we have done. Now we are going for the next one. That is a Hadoop slash etc slash Hadoop slash HDFS hyphen site.xml. So that is another XML file is there. Just remember this path here. So Hadoop slash etc slash Hadoop slash HDFS hyphen site.xml. So this is a XML file. We are going to do some updates. We are going to carry out some updates on this particular file here. So what is update? So here this configuration portion has to be written there. So let me open the open the file now. So doing the copy here. So SDFS. The file is already open. So that is the SDFS hyphen site dot XML. So here you have done the copy and paste here. So configuration tags have got updated. So here we are having the replication factor of one. We can also go for three. So here we have gone for the replication factor DFS dot replication. So this particular property has been set with the value one here. Okay, so we have done, done it. Now you shall go for the save and then you shall go for the close. Next, we're going for the next file, which is the map red hyphen site dot XML which is residing under the folder that is the Hadoop slash etc slash Hadoop map red hyphen site dot XML. So this is a required file where this configuration section has to be updated. So here we are putting this map red dot job dot tracker and local host colon 9001. So name and the value. So they have they have got enclosed with the respective tags. So we're going for this. So here you can find that we are not finding any map red hyphen site.xml. We're not finding this one. So what we are finding, we're getting map red hyphen site.xml dot template. So what we shall do, we shall make a copy and paste. So we shall make a replica of this template file. And then we shall change the name to map red hyphen site.xml. And there we'll be doing the required updates in the tags. So let me make a copy. So I'm done the copy and paste. So it has uh, made a paste here. So now I shall go for this template and this blank space is to be eliminated. Yes, we have made the uh, thing. So now coming to this installation details.txt, taking this configuration portion 
okay now going for this map rate site .xml, this configuration portion is getting updated with the new content you can find that here we have done the copy and paste so please remember all these steps because all these steps are necessary and they are, they are to be done the order in which you are uh, demonstrating here so now we shall go for this uh, save and exit okay now we are going for this hadoof env hadoop hyphen env dot sh so here we are supposed to put the java path here java home path so this is a java home path we are getting so it does doing the copy don't take that colon in the selection so here here in this case we're just pasting the required java home path here so you can find here so actually uh, there's a put the java home actually i should write this one as java home at hadoop hyphen env dot sh so this particular uh, shell program has to be updated with the java home path so we have done that one and we have got the java home path by just writing the java home dollar java home we have written that one so getting the path and we have done the pasting there now run the final command to set the set up the hadoop okay so we'll be going for this uh, name node format we'll be going for the name node format so let us go for that section now so we shall, yes we have done this now we shall go for this name node format so copying and pasting it here so name node format is taking place yes it has got pasted so formatting has been done so uh, let me write these lines how to start the hadoop so we are supposed to issue it should be written in capital letters so dollar hadoop underscore install slash s bin slash start hyphen all dot sh so this is a this is a shell program we are supposed to execute you can find that hadoop is now is getting initiated i shall go for yes So we are going to see what are the processes are running. So here you can find that node manager, data node, name node, secondary name node. We are having the resource manager. So this, these are the respective processes are running in the background. So that means my Hadoop is on. Now let me open this one in the browser. So the command is localhost colon 50070. So if you just issue this one in the browser, you can find that this particular Hadoop has got so respective GUI view we're getting here. So in this way, we have shown you that how to install this Hadoop here. So in the browser, we are going to write localhost colon 50070 slash to get the Hadoop overview page on. So throughout this demonstration, we have shown you that how to install Hadoop on our system. Thanks for watching this video.